Hey there, Internet Keith here, and today we're going over the Quix System Rim Twister. This is a German engineer product actually found at an auto uh, supply store years ago, and it's just gotten so worn out. I've been using this on my exhaust pipes, wheels, and everything. Uh, I found a new one, and I actually found it on Amazon, so the link is below. Uh, I couldn't find it in the stores anymore, but the soft bristles of this, it's just amazing on the wheels. Easily clean in tight spaces, uh, even inside the wheel bed, safe for use on all rim surfaces, coated or uncoated. Make sure that you're using a cordless drill and not a uh, wire drill. They spin at much higher RPMs. I would also suggest that you use the lower torque settings at a lower spin rate uh, because you don't want to uh, burn anything. You just want a nice, easy agitation. You don't want to go crazy and hurt anything. From wheel to wheel, you want to make sure that you're rinsing it off and making sure that you're not carrying contaminants from one wheel to the other. So what we're going to use for the video is W5 All Purpose, which is right here. I use this uh, double pump sprayer. This is W6 fallout remover. This is for the wheel. This is for the tire. Uh, this is when it turns it purple and doesn't fall out, but these are pH neutral, so they won't kill your coating. We will also be using the concoction, which is a mixture of W5, W6, W4, G-Wash, all in a PF22.2 foam cannon. We'll spray this over the wheels and spray a little bit on the brush as well to give it a nice lubricating surface. Well, the first thing you wanna do is rinse it off. Now we spray our all-purpose remover on the tires. A little bit windy out here today. Then spray our W6 fallout remover. While we're letting it eat, which is gonna be a few minutes, uh, let's go ahead and get the bristles nice and wet and then get our foam canner ready. And you can see it's starting to drive just a little bit on the, the tire there. That means it's time to go ahead and start foaming. Now we got it all foamed up. We got our bristles foamed up. But like I said, nice and slow. It'd be a lot better if it wasn't windy. Like I said, nice and easy turns. You don't have to go fast. You could, but I prefer it this way. It's easier to guide it to. Then we go on to the tires. Be very careful when you do this. You do this last, so that way when you come close to the ground, you're not bringing those contaminants back on to the wheels. Now it's time to rinse off. Now that's a quick clean, and like I said, it's safe. As long as you, when you transfer from one wheel to the other, you keep cleaning those bristles. So let's move on to the exhaust. On the exhaust, we're gonna do a mix of W6 fallout remover and the all-purpose, and then let it eat. All right, so instead of using foam on this older rim buster, I'm using just some W6 to get it lubricated. You use this one on as fast as speed as you want. Be careful, it is gonna sling. Look at that. Just look at that, that is amazing. Well, that's it for the rim twister. Just a great product. Uh, I didn't get to film it because I ran out of daylight. I was filming another video at the exact same time. But when you wanna rinse this off between each wheel or at the end, just spray your water hose or high pressure directly onto it and just spin and spray it right in there and get cleaned up. And then when you're done, Run it for a few seconds and it's dry. 
That's the great thing about this product. It's actually the exact same technology they use in the automated car washes, except you don't have some big trucks, dirt all stuck in here or whatever from the other cars contaminating your car. You're controlling the flow, you're controlling the rate, you're controlling the cleanliness. Uh, everybody knows that I would not put something on my wheels that I thought would harm them. I'm very particular about that, but like I said, it's just a great product. Link in the description below. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.